What is up guys, I'm the Senator and today I'm going to be showing you how to use Castle effectively. And this video is designed for both beginners as well as people who aren't really sure how to be using Castle. And from my experience and what I've seen, newer players have no idea how to use Castle. So that's what I'm here to help you with. Castle is an example of an operator that can either really help your team or really hurt your team. And it's the people that play Castle that may be newer or don't really have any time spent with him that can really hurt your chances of winning. But after this video, that won't be the case anymore and you will know how to effectively use Castle. So anyways, let's get into it. So this isn't going to be like my normal videos where I talk about a subject and just have gameplay playing in the background. This is going to be me showing you how you should be using Castle instead of just telling you how to use Castle. So first off, I have a notepad pulled up and I'm just going to put down my general thoughts of how you need to be using Castle. So when looking at Castle, the, the number one utility that I see with him is being able to block lines of sight. It is so much easier on your defenders who are anchoring on sight, which should be you as a castle, but everyone else is anchoring on sight that they know that they're protected and no one's going to shoot them through a specific window that leads into sight. Being able to block that line of sight gives your other defenders a peace of mind to know that there's not going to be someone on a rappel that's going to be able to take them out. And really the only thing they have to worry about would be a fuse. So blocking a line of sight is number one. The next thing that comes to mind is uh, wasting utility. And you'll see this more in the higher ranks than in the lower ranks. And that's why Castle is used in, maybe in like the super high ranks because of how much utility he can waste. But being able to waste utility is one of the best reasons to pick castle because i would rather have the ash or zofia to waste your utility or have somebody waste their grenade on getting rid of a you know castle barricade than getting rid of an evil eye or now one of malusi's banshees that can be really strong when you place them around site and effectively you know putting barricades around the map and wasting the utility of an ash or zofia or anyone with a grenade that's great because that's less utility they'll be able to use later on whenever they need to go in, you know, get frags and get the plan off whenever they have a evil eye shooting at them or a Malusi Banshee or a Goyo shield in their way. Now, another huge benefit that comes with using Castle, and this is more evident at the lower ranks than in the super high ranks, but the ability to delay the attackers. It's, it's not as effective in the higher ranks because if you're in a higher rank, if you're playing in plat, you're going to be with the team and you're going to be communicating and you're going to have someone with you who can deal with that um, castle barricade. Whereas if you're in the lower ranks and you're solo queuing, nobody's really talking very much. It's very easy to delay someone or stop an attacker in their tracks whenever they see a castle barricade in their way and they have no tools to effectively deal with it. And so as a defender, when you really look at it, your whole goal is to just run out the clock. You know, you, you hold your position and you just wait on them and hopefully they don't plant the bomb in time. And the last big thing that pops out to me that comes with using a castle is the ability and the potential to funnel the attackers. And this will be more evident at the lower levels because, as I said earlier, at the higher levels, the your teammates will be talking to you and you can say, hey, Ash, Sophia, Sledge, come over here and get this castle barricade for me. Whereas if you're solo queuing and you're at a level, lower level, you're pretty much on your own most of the time. And so it's very, very easy to funnel the attackers at those lower levels. Because say you're an Amaru and you don't have the ability, you don't have breach of charges, you don't really have anything in order to get past that castle barricade. You're going to be funneled to a different part of the map because you can either, you know, stay there for 20 seconds and melee the castle barricade until it falls, or you can go another route. And whenever it's late in the game, the time's ticking down, there's less than a minute left, you're going to go around. So you're going to be funneled to a different part of the map. And so when I go into game, I'll show you a specific example on how you can actually just funnel the attackers. And just overall, these top three are the primary uses that you get out of castle. It is harder to delay the attackers or you'll delay them less in the higher ranks because, again, they're going to be communicating. But nonetheless, it takes time for the Ash or Zofia or whoever needs to open up the castle barricade to get to that player who needs to go through. Or if they don't do that, the player who needs to go through the castle barricade will actually just be funneled to another part of the map which could be the case. So now I'm gonna hop into game and show you how to use castle on specific sites in order to accomplish these four things. Okay, so before I show you anything, I'm just gonna say this right now. This is the, if you take anything away from this video, take this. Do not block your team into sight. I see it so often, new people who are like less than level 50, they pick castle and their immediate, immediate thing to do is come over here and block off this doorway. 
stuff like that. Do not lock your team into sight. And you may be thinking, well, that's a, that's a line of sight into sight. That's true. But I would rather have this be open and have your your anchors being able to hold that line of sight rather than you barricading it. And I'll tell you why. Because look at Kitchen on Coastline. And this is going to be like my uh, alibi video I made yesterday where I show you you know popular places to put your prismas. But in this video, I'm going to show you popular places to put your castle barricades. But if I, if as a castle, I was able to block this doorway, then the only way that my roamers can get back to sight is coming through bathroom through this entire large open lobby area so there's 30 seconds left in the round and this is castled off and i and the roamer gets news that hey they just jumped through that window so roamer's gonna come down cool vibes and then oh no it's barricaded off they can't get in unless they have an impact so then that roamer if they want to stop the plant they have to come all the way around here down this hallway come into the main lobby area come in through bathroom and then hopefully try to find them but by that point it's already going to be planted down so that's an example of castle hurting you more than helping you but if if you know you want to do that if you have a strat that revolves around that just let your team know say hey guys i'm going to be casting off this this barrack i'm going to be casting off this door so i don't ever recommend you ever really do that but if you do it just do please have the common courtesy of letting your team know now, where would you usually put them on, you know, kitchen here on coastline? Always put them on that window because that's a it's a popular line of sight. And as a defender, if I had like an ACOG, if I was a doc, I would love to be able to play in this corner and um, have the reassurance that I'm not going to get killed by this window. Because I can have a line of sight in the bathroom. I can swing on the rotate that should be right there. If I need to, I can swing on this door. So that'd be great for you know a defender with an ACOG to stay back here. And having that re that barricaded off gives them peace of mind. So that's one place to put your barricade. Another place I would recommend is right here. Um, them getting a foothold in Sunrise makes it easier for them to push into Kitchen. And I would rather them have to push through Blue Bar and come to this 90 where they're exposed from the main hallway. They're exposed uh, from Kitchen. And they're exposed from cool vibes and you should have your roamer you know playing up in cool vibes or not cool vibes up in hookah billiards or vip and if they get news that hey there's a uh, attacker trying to push into kitchen from the west entrance they can get them as for your third one i, I would use it as a utility waster just on this window get your asher zofia to waste their utility on getting rid of the castle barricade instead of the evil eye that you may have set up in this area so that's how that's how I'd go about using my castle barricades on kitchen. Gumming upstairs, I recommend you always put one right here for the same reason you put it on the kitchen window. It's just if an attacker can get on a repel on this window, they can completely shut down the defense in hookah. They if they get a repel and they kill the one person that's anchoring in here, then they have a line of sight to the rotate that should be right there through this doorway and the rotate that's going to be right over there. So if someone's on a rappel and they can hold that line of sight from, you know, this rotate, that door, and that rotate, they can completely shut down the defense and hookah, you know, get in here, plan at the default. So that's always try to, you know, castle that off. Second castle barricade should be right there to protect your defenders that are going to be coming in and out of billiards into hookah or into aqua because there's usually going to be a Cali or someone that has halfway decent aim out there at ruins waiting on people to move around in here as for your third one i always like to put it on this vip doorway now for your new players you should always have these two walls reinforced because as you can see if the attackers come and get control of vip they have an insane angle into billiards and so always reinforce that and i recommend putting a castle barricade right here and this does multiple things one it can delay the attackers that do not have the capabilities to deal with um getting rid of it so that's one thing another thing is it'll waste utility usually um you can usually expect you know a fragger like Sophia or ash to come in through this back way as you know your your capital your bunch your your really your support ops trying to make a push through here so it will you know waste you the waste utility if anything now, if they are an attacker that doesn't have the capabilities of getting rid of this castle barricade, then they have to rethink their push from 
from VIP. They'd have to go back out that window and go around and go back to the uh, the attackers are trying to make a push on the balcony, or they have to go down below into Sunrise and try to help the attackers that are making the push to try to go to Cool Vibes. Now, or what they usually would do is they go back through VIP. Oh, I can't get in through there. Oh, I gotta go find another way around. So they'd have to come back through VIP, through Penthouse, into the theater. And now they have the option to either go left or go right. Now, if they go right, they are very exposed. The only cover that is on this hallway is right there and right there. That's it. And so that's a good thing. It's, it's easier for them to make a push from right here than it would be to make a push right here. Also, they if they went left, then they're in a very, very tight uh, hallway. Or this is luggage. So you could have your anchor that maybe should be in aqua. You could have a line of sight in here. Uh, they get into a gunfight, try to a few shots. Then you let your roamers know, hey, there's an attacker trying to push through luggage. That's an easy flank. They can hop down, come around through main lobby, come up these stairs, and pinch them. And so something as simple as blocking off this entrance does so many things like i said waste utility if they have the ability to um get rid of it it blocks this line of sight it's not as good as this line of sight right here but it is a line of sight so it blocks that line of sight if a attacker does not have the capabilities of opening this up they have to rethink their route which also wastes their time and it can funnel them depending on whether they want to drop down off that balcony and go through sunrise and then up to cool vibes or go to the balcony that is over here or if they just try to go back to theater and penthouse which is over here and come through either this hallway which again leaves them very exposed or they can go to luggage which has a very very tight angle that a defender should be holding and it's easy to get pinched right here so there's there's a lot more utility that comes with castle than just i i'm gonna i'm gonna put this castle barricade here so they can't get in and so that's that's how a lot of new players think and castles a, a whole lot more than that now which show you more examples but i don't want this video to be as long as my alibi video was yesterday i said i didn't want that video to be 20 minutes and ended up being 22 minutes long but hopefully this gives you an idea of how you should be using castle castle is not an operator to stop the attackers from getting into sight it can be used that way but that that's an example of hurting your team more than helping them so just remember block lines of sight like on this window on that window and think about how you can funnel the attackers and delay them like with that or downstairs when you're defending kitchen like i gave the example of blocking that off so they can't get a hold in here they're very exposed if they come through blue bar and they're right here because again you should have a roamer up there in that area so i hope you enjoyed it i hope you learned something out of it uh, if you didn't understand something, let me know. And again, this was designed, designed for newer players. So some of you may be thinking, duh, this is, this is stupid. I, I know this. But so many new players do not know how to properly use Castle. And it's annoying because Castle can be an amazing operator if used correctly. So hopefully you got something out of this. Hopefully moving forward, you know how to play Castle and use them effectively. Castle is a very, very strong support role. He's not an operator that you can go and frag out with considering his gun is awful like that's so slow compared to other um, other defenders that have an extremely high fire fire rate. But just overall, he can be so great, and just people aren't using him correctly. So hopefully, you know how to use him correctly, and hopefully, you won't lock people into sight like we've all done before. I remember, you know, when I first played the game, little level 15 senator, I'm just gonna block everything in so they can't get in. That's that's not a good way to use them. It is a good way to um, waste utility, but again, you're, it hurts your roamer. So overall, thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and leave a like. Also, remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon. That way you can be notified every time I post a video. I'm the Senator, and as always, have a good one.